Today's test is to answer the question, can I turn on the power to my ZVS induction heater while there's already work in the work coil? The power supply is on, water cooling and all that stuff is on, fans are on, and we are drawing an idle current of 6 amperes today, and we have 37.8 kilohertz for the uh, uh, idle current frequency. I'm going to be trying three different materials in the work coil today. First, this aluminum tube. Secondly, this uh, crucible, uh, the graphite crucible inside a ceramic shell that just fits inside the stock 10 turn coil that comes with the 2500 watt unit. And then third will be this uh, uh, piece of water pipe. It's 1 and 7 eighths OD. And the reason that I'm going to do these three more or less in that order is that the aluminum will uh, draw the least amount of current. The graphite crucible draws considerably more and the steel pipe draws even more than that. So, 6 amps idle current. Now I'll put the aluminum tube in and that I can sit all the way down in the coil. I will read you the uh, current draw and the frequency. 17 amperes, 52.1 kilohertz. Nothing broke. Now we'll insert the graphite crucible in the ceramic shell all the way in, fits all the way in. Now I will turn the DC power on and uh, remember in all cases here the power supply is already uh, turned on and ready to generate full power. So I will now turn the DC switch on to the ZVS induction heater itself and I will read you the current and the frequency. Current 39 amperes, frequency 42.5 kilohertz and nothing broke. Uh, the water temperature has gotten up to 23 degrees Celsius which is just about where it was when we started because we're not having the power on for a very long time. Place the water pipe in the work coil I can't put it all the way down in the coil or it'll draw way too much current. Power supply is off. I'm sorry, the power supply is on, but the DC switch is off. So I place it in there. I've got it sitting up on a block. I will now turn the power on and I will read you quickly the uh, current and the frequency. 50 amperes, 40.2 kilohertz. And nothing broke. The steel heats up pretty fast. 37.9 kilohertz and that's really the end of today's test. Uh, my conclusion is that yes it is okay if you have the proper power supply that's, that's capable of delivering the current that you need without drooping, yes, you may turn the circuit on with uh, the work already in the work coil. You've seen three different uh, current levels, and uh, as far as I can tell, there were no uh, negative effects of doing this. Thank you for watching.